Welcome to the tutorial on Generate 3D Plot and Surfaces. In this tutorial, we will learn to generate a 3D plot with a splot command, rotate to change the viewing angle, change the surface properties, color the two sides of the surface differently, make a graph using script commands, Write, edit and execute a script. Draw a sphere. Change the surface color of the sphere. And generate a heat map. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 OS, Gedit version 3.18, and GNU plot version 5.2.6. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with basics of GNU plot. For prerequisite GNU plot tutorials, please visit this site. Open a terminal. Change the directory to desktop. I will open GNU plot from desktop directory in the terminal. I will also clear the screen. We will plot the function cos x cos y to draw a surface. Enter the command s plot space cos x times cos y. Make sure x and y are in parentheses. The s plot command generates 3D graph in the graphics window. Besides x and y, the third axis is the value of the function in the plot. Hold down the left mouse key. Move the mouse to rotate the graph and change the viewing angle. Zoom in slightly into the graph to see a wavy surface. Notice the surface is plotted in a wide mesh style. Let's change some of the properties of the surface. We will color both sides of the surface differently. The required command for this is set space hidden 3D. Enter the command replot to see the changed colors. Notice the hidden surface is colored green and the top surface is purple. Let's divide the surface into a fine grid. Enter the command set space isosamples space 50 comma 50. Replot to notice a fine mesh defining the surface. Use the command help space as plot to know more about the as plot command. Hold down the left mouse key and move the mouse to rotate the graph. The viewing angle changes in the graphics window while rotating the graph. Next, we will plot a sphere in GNU plot. Close the graphics window. Equation for a sphere with radius r centered at x0, y0 and z0 is shown here. It is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r square. This function can be plotted in parametric mode as seen here. We will write a script to draw a sphere in GNU plot using the text editor. Then run the script file to plot a graph. Open another terminal and type gedit to open a gedit window. Windows users may use Notepad or WordPad software. Let's enter a command on the first line. I will type hash my first 3D plot and press enter to start a new line. The commands start with a hash. Next, please type the commands as shown here. First, set the plot to parametric mode. Then set the angle to degree. Next, specify the ranges of parameters U and V. 
Set ISO samples to make a fine mesh. Set ticks level to zero. This sets the XY plane at zero value of Z axis. I will set the radius of the sphere to one. Next, add the line as plot, space and the function for the sphere as seen. Press Ctrl X to save the file. A dialog box opens. I will save the file in desktop folder with file name sphere.dem. Click on save to save the script. Click on the hyphen sign on the top to minimize the gedit window. Go back to the terminal where gnuplot is open. If you had closed gnuplot, please open gnuplot again. Let's run the script to generate a sphere. Enter the command load space within single quotes sphere.dem. A sphere centered at 000 with radius 1 appears on the screen. Let's change the color of the sphere to blue. We will edit the script file to make the required changes. Go to the edit window to edit the script. If you had closed it, please open the script file to edit. Add lc space rgb space within single quotes blue. Save the changes in the script file. Come back to the blue plot prompt and load the edited script file again. Enter the command. Load space within single quotes sphere.dem. In some systems, pressing the up arrow key scrolls through the command history. Notice the blue sphere on the graphics window. Next, let's make a heat map with pm3d command. Go back to the script in gedit to make changes in it. Delete the lc space rgb space blue in the splot command. Add with space pm3d at the end of the line as seen on the screen. Save the script file, minimize gedit and go to GNU plot. Load the sphere.dem script again. Notice the heat map in the sphere. The color scale bar for the color gradient is visible on the side. This is called a color box in new plot. The values between 1 and 0.8 are colored in yellow. Values between minus 0.8 to minus 1 are colored in deep purple. Using scripts, we can generate and make changes in the graph. Similar scripts are available in the GNU plot demo website. Practice and familiarize with commands and styles. Learners can also use the help command for this purpose. Let's exit GNU plot and gedit. To summarize, in this tutorial, we Generated a 3D surface with the splot command, changed the viewing angle, modified the 3D plot, colored the two surfaces of the plot differently, plotted a sphere and changed the color, wrote and modified a script, executed the script to generate a plot, and learned to generate a heat map. For assignment, plot the following. Plot 5 spheres in a graph with different radius. Center and color the spheres differently. For a sphere centered at x1, y1, z1, use the equation for sphere as seen here. Your completed assignment looks similar to this. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates. 
For more details, please write to us. Post your timed queries in the forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.